The history of Nike SB. Nike decided to give four skaters their own signature colorway. The skaters were Richard Mulder, Danny Supa, Reese Forbes, and Gino Lanucci. Richard Mulder's sneaker was a crisp white with blue SB that had the influence from his first pair of sneakers. Danny Supa's colorway is a nod towards his hometown NYC with the classic blue and orange colorway. The Reese Forbes colorway got its inspiration from a suede work boot, but he used pig suede for his sneaker. The Gino Lanucci colorway came from Gino's love for dark colors, with the uppers matching the midsole. After the original four each got their sneaker, Nike had set their sights on something bigger, Danny Supa's Zoo York sponsor. Nike collabed with Zoo York, and they made a very special sneaker. OG stencils were used for the sneaker that Zoo York had, and this created a grail sneaker. The Chocolate Skateboards collab. This was Richard Mulder's design choice for the dunk. Chocolate Skateboards was a very popular on the West Coast. The Paul Brown Nike SB. The first time a cement print was ever done on a sneaker other than Jordan 3 was on the Supreme Dunk Lows. This was a huge step for Supreme and for Nike at the time. And the shoe made its appearance in the black and white colorway. The Dark Olden SB. The Shark SB. The Orange Flash SB. The Maple Dunk High SB. The Denim SB. Now this is Reese Forbes' second sneaker, and the inspiration comes from a pair of jeans that Reese wore. The Nike SB Bison. The Nike SB Akashi. This shoe was for an SB team member named Akashi. The Nike SB Futura. Futura is an NYC graffiti artist. The Nike SB Dunk High Hulk. This was designed by SB team's Todd Jordan. The Heineken SB. At the time, this was not an official collaboration. And to say the least, Heineken, the company, was not happy at all with Nike, and they still are not. The Nike Dunk Low Vamps. The Nike Dunk Low Pure Blood. Supreme's Nike SB collab round two. Now Supreme and Nike already had a history at this point, but they decided to drop a collection that would go down in history. An amazing collection of dunks with stars on the panels and gold Supreme lace locks. Originally on the side, instead of stars, it was supposed to be the Nike symbol, but Nike lawyers shut that down pretty quickly. Nike SB Broncos. Nike SB Barf. Nike SB Iron. The Nike SB Charity Dunk. Nike SB collaborated with eBay to create a dunk for charity they sold for around $30,000. And the dunk was cut up into quarters. Another pair belonged to the late and great Sandy Bodecker. Nike SB Ostrich. Nike SB Brown Pack Low. Nike SB Brown Pack High. Nike SB Iron Maiden. The Iron Maiden Nike SB, there was only 34 pairs made. They were only made for Iron Maiden's friends and family. The Nike SB Paris. Arguably one of the most rare sneakers to ever exist. Only 202 pairs were made. These were supposed to be released for an art exhibit. They never released, though. No two pairs are the same because the canvas art of the French painter Bernard Buffett was cut and placed uniquely on each pair of sneakers. The Nike SB Buck. The Nike SB Buck has a University of Oregon colorway. Phil Knight, the CEO of Nike, is a University of Oregon alum, and his nickname in college was Buck. The Nike SB Ghost. The Nike SB Hemp Low. The Hemp Low comes in three colorways. The Nike SB Sea Crystal. The inspiration came from Sandy Bodecker collecting sea glass in Connecticut as a kid, as you can see from the bright colorway. Nike SB Jedi. 
Nike SB Carhartt. This came in two colorways. Nike SB Medcom. Nike SB Flom. Designed with Futura for the opening of a store in Japan, a friends and family only shoe. It stands for for love or money. This is supposed to be a question of why people were in the community at the time, or in the sneaker community more specifically. Nike SB Cali. Giving support back to California, Chris Reed is supposed to be responsible for this SB, along with several other team members. Nike SB Tokyo. Nike SB London. Only 202 pairs in existence. Nike SB Unlucky. Nike SB High Lucky. Nike SB Tweed Low. Nike SB Tweed High. Nike SB Dunk High Uncle. This was done by Futura. Uncle helped collab on this very rare sneaker and is a grail sneaker for many people. Nike SB Uncle Low. This pair is unreleased, so you're hardly ever going to see it. Nike SB High. Daniel Shimizu. Nike SB Dunk Low. Reese Forbes. Nike SB Dunk Low. Shanghai. This is an Asia exclusive. It is supposed to represent the temples and architecture of the city. Nike SB Dunk High Huff. This dunk is supposed to take inspiration from the San Francisco Giants, where Huff was originally based. Nike SB Dunk Low Grit. Nike SB Dunk Low Mocha. Jeff Staples Pigeon is one of the most rare SBs. This dropped at Jeff Reed's space storefront. This sneaker caused a riot along with the police escorting the people who bought the shoes out. Nike SB JPAC. Nike SB Dunk High T19. Nike SB Ray Guns Home. Nike SB Ray Guns Away. Nike SB Oompa Loompa. Nike SB St. Patrick's Day. Nike SB Boca Juniors. Nike SB Dunk High Midnight Fog. Nike SB Band Aid. Nike SB Cinco de Mayo. Nike SB Shy Pink. Nike SB Collab.